In our previous video, we made a clone of our Windows Drive using the free version of AOMI Backup. However, the only way we could do that was to use the copy without resizing partition option. So we were left with two identical drives, not only in file type, but also in size. So in this video, we're going to be resizing the drive and also make a partition of it using the free version of AOMI Partition Assistant. Let's go. This video is sponsored by us, so if you like our content and would love to support the channel, please head over to teesprings.com forward slash stores forward slash LMTechHD or click on the first link in the description box below to be a part of the Wemo squad. Thanks. What's going on guys, I'm Ryan from LM Tech HD and on this channel we do a lot of tutorials slash tech reviews and giveaways so if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now if you haven't seen the previous video, I would suggest you go watch it by clicking the info button or the second link in the description box below. Alright, first thing we want to do is to download AOMI Partition Assistant. The link to this page will be in the description. Once you get to this page, click on download freeware. Just like the backup part, the AOMI Partition Assistant also has a free and a pro version, but all we need is available in the free version as well. I have already downloaded the application, but basically when you click on the download freeware button, it will take you to another page and all you have to do is to click on the download freeware button again and enter your email ID and click on download now. Once the download is complete, go ahead and install the application. And as soon as the installation is complete, launch the application. And right off the bat, you can see the other half of the 1TB hard disk and it's currently an unallocated disk space. So we are going to create a partition and assign a drive letter to it. Next, we are going to merge the partition with the D drive from which this partition was created. And after that, I'm going to show you guys how you can resize the partition. Alright, so to create a partition and assign a drive letter, I'm going to right click on the unallocated drive space and select create partition. Here you could specify the size of the new partition by dragging either edges of the drive. And you could also click on advanced to specify the information for the new partition including partition size, partition label, drive letter, file system such as NTFS or FAT and partition type such as logical or primary. When all settings are completed, click OK to continue. Now you can preview the newly created partition. Click apply on the toolbar to complete the pending operations. Click proceed and click yes. Once it is done, click OK. Now let's see if it worked. Alright, so this was the clone we made in the previous video and this is the second half of the drive that was missing which we just assigned the drive letter to. So that's basically how you create a partition or assign a drive letter with the AOMI Partition Assistant. Next, we are going to merge both partitions. Hey there, if you are getting value out of this video then do me a favor by smashing the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already and if you're feeling hyped then go ahead and share it with your friends as well. Thank you. Okay guys, to merge the partition, we are going to simply right click on the partition we just created, which in our case is drive E and select merge partition. In the pop-up window, tick the target partition, in this case it will be the drive D and then click OK to continue. Please note that all the data, if there is any, in the partition E will be transferred into the D drive. To save the changes, simply click apply on the toolbar. In the pop-up window, click proceed and click yes to start the operation. And once it is done, click OK. Now let's see what changes has been made. Go to this PC. Now you can see we've successfully merged both drives. Finally, I'm going to show you guys how to resize the drive. Alright guys, please note that before we can resize a drive, there must be an unallocated space of the same hard disk as the partition you want to extend. If there is no unallocated space, you could shrink other partition to generate unallocated space. The unallocated space should be adjacent to the partition you want to extend. 
no matter if it is before the target partition or behind it. If not, you could use the fish or move partition to adjust the position of it. Alright, so the first thing we want to do, since we don't have an unallocated space, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to shrink this drive to create one. Now right click the partition you want to shrink and select resize partition. In the pop-up window, you could position the mouse pointer on either border of the partition and drag the border rightwards or leftwards to shrink the partition. I'm gonna make this about 500GB and click OK. Here you can see a preview of the drives. I'm gonna click apply on the toolbar to commit the operation and click proceed. When the operation is complete, click OK. Now let's check out the drive. So you can see we've successfully shrinked the 1TB drive to 500GB. Alright, so now that we have an unallocated space, we could do a number of things with this. We could create a separate partition with it or we could apply it to another drive to extend it. But in this video, we're just gonna use it with the original drive to resize it. So I'm gonna right click on the drive and select resize slash move partition. In the pop-up window, position the mouse pointer on the right border of the partition and drag the border rightwards to extend partition. If there is no unallocated space beside the partition, you could not drag the border. Here you can see a preview of the partition extended. I'm gonna click apply on the toolbar to commit operation. and click proceed. Yeah, some of you may get this message if the drive you're trying to extend has windows in it or a program running. I'm just gonna leave everything as default and click OK. Click proceed and click OK to start the operation. Alright, so that's how you extend your drive and you can see we now have our one terabyte drive back. Alright guys, if this video was helpful to you, then go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, drop a comment and share it with your friends. Also remember to follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff at LMTechHD02. And if you would like to support the channel, then check out our online store using the first link in the description box below. I love your eye sockets and I would love to talk about them, but for now, we maxed out. Peace.